Baylor's bounced and brackets are busted everywhere. Clemson beats Baylor 72-64. Kristen Peake, Danny Green, I'm Jason Fitz for Yahoo Sports. Make your free throws. Danny, this one drove me crazy. Yes, I mean, I give a lot of credit to Clemson. They did a great job defensively of taking away a lot of their airspace. But, you know, they had a great chance at the end if they just made some free throws. So Baylor shooting 16 for 26 from the free throw line, 60% is not good enough in a tournament when you're trying to win games and survive in advance. They have too many opportunities to not take advantage of it, but Clemson did well defensively down the stretch and throughout the whole game, so they deserve to win the game. Yeah, but you've talked a lot over the course of the weekend that sometimes one possession is all it takes to find yourself out of these games. Let's keep in mind, late in the game, we watched it. Baylor went to the line, missed two. Clemson goes back to the line, makes two. I'm just saying, it, it, it's a huge part of it. The that. last 30 seconds of a lot of games, or even last two or three minutes, have been mismanaged in my my opinion. I think the timeouts usage are not being used wisely. Uh, the pace, guys need to get up the floor, and they just don't have any execution. A lot of teams are not executing besides the free throws of making free throws, turn the ball over, stupid fouls, um, fouling when you're not supposed to. Uh, there's a lot of immaturity I'm seeing throughout the tournament, but Clemson did a great job of executing. All right, so next, now we get Clemson, Arizona. KP, what do you think? It's going to be another uphill battle, I think, for Clemson. When you look at the guard play at Arizona, they're so deep and so talented with Caleb Love, Kylan Boswell, Jaden Bradley. If one of them have an off night, then another one just steps in and they move the ball so well. The inside presence of Omar Bilal is going to be really hard for them to defend as well. But big shout out to the ACC. Doing big things this year. Four teams advancing out of the five. It makes a case for those who got snubbed. Uh, Clemson, Carolina, of course, advancing, and the other two teams that are in the ACC I don't like to mention, but um, it's good to see four teams advance with it from the conference. Well, I guess we'll just have to see now if the Tigers can roar into the Elite Eight. <laughs>